In this video, we show you how to paint and prepare these wood frames for stone and smalty projects. I really like these wood frames. They're made from birch ply and come unfinished with a little hanger. Um, I always like to finish them before I start so I don't have to try and not get the finish on my mosaic. So you can stain them like I've done with this one in a wood stain or you can paint them or just spray them with some like clear sealant to leave them natural but I do recommend doing all of this before you start your mosaic. In this frame um, we're gonna do a black and white um, marble mosaic so I thought it'd be nice to have maybe a gray colored frame and I'm just gonna accomplish that with some white acrylic paint and I don't know that I want it to be totally painted out so I'm gonna start by doing maybe a little bit of a wash if I start with the wash and I don't like it then I can add more layers and make it more of a solid finish I'm going to just start by adding a little water and getting this mixed up until I think it's a color I like. The real thing is, is I kind of need to make sure I have enough before I get started, because I'll never mix this the same. Again, of course, I'm just gonna try it in a little spot in here. So this is really solid. I'm gonna try adding water. I'm trying to decide whether I want the wood grain to show through a little bit or not. In this watery one, I'm gonna wipe it back. And so now you can see the wood grain shows through and I kind of like that. Let's see what happens on these other two. So, um, yeah, I think I like the lightest one. And I'm gonna go back and wash, uh, clean or wipe each one of these sides right away because if I try to do the whole thing, it's gonna get too soaked in and dry and I won't be able to wipe it back. The grain's a little different on the frame portion, so I'm not really getting the same effect. I'm not really into the wash back gray look, but it's in these days and I really think it's gonna work well with the mosaic we're gonna put in here. Make sure that when you're applying the paint, you get all the way down in here because um, if you just do this face part, and your mosaic doesn't come all the way up to the edge, you're gonna have a hard time getting back in and getting that spot, right? I also uh, will finish the whole back so that we don't get all these brushy marks and it looks, you know, really polished and finished and professional. With these frames, you can do one of two things with the little hanger that comes with it. You can um, add them now or after you're done. If you do add them now, make sure you work right side up when you start working because I've done it many of times, put my hanger on and then move my stuff around. And pretty soon I realized that I put the hanger going the wrong way. I'm pretty much done here. And I think this is gonna look pretty great when we get our mosaic finished in it. Oftentimes, people like to work with small tea and marble. Not having to grow, not having to use the thin set, is to paint out the background surface black, which I'm gonna do in this little frame. And then the interstices between the tessera don't show the the wood material or whatever your background is. If you paint them white, 
then they like show up brightly unless you're doing a real white and light colored mosaic. I would always opt for a dark color like black. So I'm now just gonna carefully go around the edges. This isn't totally critical, but I don't wanna mess up my previous work, right? And just put a good base coat of black. This way I can work with the weld bond, which is clear. And all that's gonna show through is dark or black, which it won't interrupt the mosaic. And then I won't be required to grout it. I'm gonna do a little more prep work on this frame. I will be using Simple Set for my adhesive. So I am just gonna do a little skim coat on it to get it prepped. Now, my, my recommendation when prepping the working surfaces to use whatever adhesive you're planning to use to glue it down. So if I was using weld bond, I'd do a weld bond wash on here. Um, a lot of times you can also use kills because that's a primer that works as a bonding agent. And we're just trying to get a really thin coat to cover everything. Let this dry and skim over, which won't take too long. This is an indoor project, so we can use this simple set. And um, you can see, just putting a thin coat on. We're not trying to get anything perfect. We're just trying to get it worked into the wood a little bit with the um, palette knife. And get it. we'll get it relatively smooth once I get it all covered, but not too smooth. We don't mind if there's a little bumps in this particular project because I'll be setting marble on it and it's not even so any high spots aren't really going to show up in the final product. And I think this looks pretty good. Learn how to make this super cool stone mosaic. What am I supposed to say after that, Pony? Learn about how to make these cool stone mosaics on our YouTube channel. Make it mosaics. <laughs>